Bitcoin has just continued to plummet lower. And I want to break down for you exactly where we could be looking at this little dump stopping right now. I mean, this is getting very, very extreme. If we measure this from the top where we initiated the dump down to where we are right now, we're actually just the low that we set. We're now down by 18%, but the time frame is what makes this quite shocking. This is a dump that's only taken place in just over a day and a half. And so we're moving down very, very quickly. And I just want to put this into perspective for you because Bitcoin doesn't dump down by this much often, right? Over here, Bitcoin fell by 26% in about 12 hours, but really the dump ended around 19% because if you were watching yesterday's video uh, or maybe even live stream, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that stuff. Um, you're going to know that I was talking about this dump and how this isn't a very normal situation because the market fell down to here and literally within minutes recovered back up. So that's not a real support hit in my opinion. And that's why I'm measuring this move as only being from the top over here down to where the actual candle closes. And that's a 19% drop. Again, right now, we're at roughly an 18% drop. Uh, you know, when we look at other big moves down like this one right here, this move down takes us by about 12% lower. Uh, and again, a similar time frame, one and a half day. Um, you know, I think that this dump with that in mind has now kind of reached the maximum level of pain that Bitcoin generally reaches with its short term dumps. Now, I'm not saying that we can't initiate another drop down, right? We absolutely can. And honestly, it would be very likely that we did. But one of the key things to keep in mind are where are the support levels because generally when the market is dropping it's only going to drop down to support levels uh, and right now I think that we're very close to one I've had this red line drawn on the chart for a long time basically showing us the $35,200 area which isn't necessarily right on the dot where a support level is but we can actually just draw a box to represent the same thing and I think just somewhere around over here where we are right now is a potential bounce zone for Bitcoin now what I'm finding quite interesting is that obviously it looks like it's intensifying a little bit with this dump, right? Uh, you know, Bitcoin previously, let's just put this in perspective so that we can understand what's going on so we can understand what's happening here. Bitcoin previously, when it was moving down, was in these patterns where, I mean, it, this was continuing the downtrend, but it was very slow. So I'm going to call this a consolidation pattern. That was a 17 day pattern. The next time Bitcoin did something like that, it was a 30 day pattern. The next time, though, that Bitcoin did something like this, it was 12 days. So you can see how it's getting shorter and the dump again, pretty intense, right? 18% in about a day and a half very, very intense price action. And of course, this is coming because we fell below our critical area of support at the $40,000 range. Now, I was looking for a retest of this area before coming back down. But the fact that we didn't get it is completely fine, because it still aligns with the core analysis I was giving you guys over these past couple of days, weeks, and even months, maybe, uh, where I was talking about how if Bitcoin drops down below this 40k level, we are certainly going to be seeing a very, very quick drop down and that quick drop down ladies and gents what do we call that if you've been in the markets for a while you should know this we call this capitulation capitulation is where people are you know over time feeling very upset with their asset right i mean you're you're losing a lot of the value i mean you've got to consider a lot of people bought on this rally a lot of people bought on this rally um you know they're they're losing faith in their asset as it drops and then uh you know i mean they're actually feeling sad and, and upset and scared uh and then when it's trading sideways or slowly moving down that's where they're really losing faith and then again their confidence gets knocked and then again they're losing more faith over time you guys know the deal i'd love to give you this analogy of it's like getting stabbed in the chest with a dagger uh you know on the these big drops. But then when we just slowly trend down, that's like twisting the dagger. And that's really what's making it bad. That's like rubbing salt on the wound and so on, whatever analogies like that, that we can throw out there. Uh, and so as that keeps on happening, that's going to wear down on the belief that people have in the asset. And naturally, that will eventually result in capitulation where people just give up and sell their Bitcoin. Uh, I want to point this out to you. I've been saying this a lot lately. Look, I'm just trying to retain perspective here. I'm not saying that we're going back up to the all time high. I certainly think that we will just between you and I, I absolutely believe we're going back up to the all time high much sooner than you all think. However, um, you know, I just want to point out a fact nonetheless that from this all time high down to our current price, we're now down by nearly 50%. Uh, you know, selling when an asset is down by 50% from its all time high, and especially Bitcoin, historically has been a pretty bad idea. Uh, I'm not saying that <laughs> this is a bad idea now. Uh, obviously, if you did that in 2020, I'm sorry, 2017, for example, if you sold at um, from 20k down at 10k, it would have been a pretty good exit level. So look, I'm not saying that 
This is also a bad time to do it, but historically, uh, put it this way, right? If you sold 50% below the all-time high right here, you would have sold very, very near to the bottom. And most of Bitcoin's time after this dump, uh, pretty much from here up to where we are right now, which is a 184-day period or six, oh, I cannot do that, six-month period, um, Bitcoin has been above a minus 50% crash. I'm just putting the facts out there, right? Generally, this is a very stupid time to be selling. So naturally, we're seeing the average traders, the, the regular mothers, fathers, students, people, working working people, just normal people like you and I, starting to sell their Bitcoins here. Makes total sense. This is where the noobs, this is where, uh, you know, the financially illiterate sell their coins, where they reach extreme levels of fear and so on. It just makes total sense. And so this is something that I really wanted to draw to your attention. We are at a support level. This thing can't stop dumping, can't keep dumping forever. Uh, the thing is, is obviously when you're in a time like this, you know, obviously I think time-based, we're very, very close to a bottom, very, very close to a bottom, days away, must be, must be days away. Uh, but obviously each additional day can result in really, really big dumps, right? Yesterday, for example, was a huge move where we opened the candle, look at the open and then look at the close. We opened the candle at 40, 6,600. That's where we started trading yesterday and we ended trading yesterday at 36,500. So that was a really big move. That's a $5,000 drop. That's more than a 10% move down just in one day on the candle body, not even on the wicks, just on the candle body. Um, you know, so each additional day can result in really, really aggressive sell-offs. But again, being at a support level right now, look, this thing just can't keep dropping forever. It's the main point that I wanted to get across to you guys. Uh, it is a weekend which complicates this a little bit. Obviously, the S&P 500 has been performing terribly, uh, you know, really just falling off a cliff. There, there's not, there, you can't really rationalize this as being anything else other than a big, big drop right now. I mean, you know, it, it can recover these fairly quickly, but a lot of this market is being manipulated. And actually, on that note, I wanted to talk about the news that we've been seeing in this market a little bit, because I've heard a lot of headlines, Russia trying to ban crypto, micro strategy, Michael Saylor being investigated by the SEC because of how they were, you know, doing some fraudulent stuff when they were buying bitcoin and any number of other bearish articles i just want to i just want to ask you guys a simple question um did, did you hear about this news at any point before the past few days or has it all coincidentally just landed recently uh obviously this is clear clear market manipulation it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see this and again the fact that it's all coming as bitcoin is in such an abysmal place um i mean th this is about as clear as uh as anything ever has been that the media is lying to you uh and and things are really not that bad uh we've seen the same things uh, come out over and over. It's funny, there was the uh, crypto.com apparently getting hacked as well. I think it was like $40 million lost. All of this stuff happening right now, come on, really? Really? All of it right now? So many bad things at the very same time? Nah, that's not how real life works. It's not. And it's coincidentally how Bitcoin has always operated when it's in big dumps like this. If you look at the news that we would have seen for Bitcoin during this big crash right here, uh, all the bearish headlines that anyone can think about only flooded through around this time. And guess what? Nobody heard of them ever again. Uh, very, very important note, ladies and gents, don't try and look for reasons for why the market is dropping down like this, because you're going to be reading the news and news outlets lie. Just plain and simple. Uh, you are kidding yourself. You are hurting yourself. Uh, at the end of the day, this is a display of psychology. This is a display of technical analysis. Technical analysis is just psychology in numbers. And we've seen this coming from a really, really long time ago. So if you were tuning into the channel back then, do me a favor, smash up the likes, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, because we're going to keep on analyzing this and I'm going to keep on sharing with you my thoughts on where this is going. And just to zoom in and give you guys a little bit more perspective on this, but actually before I change subject, uh, I just want to hit this point really, really hard that, you know, a lot of people are going to be grabbing at straws. That's basically what they're doing is grabbing at straws, trying to figure out why what happened has happened uh, but it's a very very unproductive line of thought in my opinion where you can just analyze technical analysis and you've seen if you've been watching the channel throughout this drop i mean literally since before the drop even initiated we were warning about this we were making videos on this youtube channel about how we could be looking at bitcoin losing market structure and dropping really really low of course i didn't want to believe that that would happen but i was still putting the facts out there and that's what being a real analyst entails if you want to learn how i do what i do 
follow these links on screen, pause the video here, just click on each of the red boxes and you'll be taken into VIP. Uh, what I want to show you right now though with the shorter term analysis is uh, something to do with these support boxes right here. So you can see pretty clearly, you know, one of the things that I like to do to make my life easier because TA does not need to be difficult. A lot of people are bad at TA and so naturally they make it very difficult for themselves, but it doesn't need to be. Um, you know, I always like to look for these big explosive ranges where the price just jumps and it doesn't do anything else. I mean, we're not we haven't at any point ever traded in, uh, you know, in between these two boxes for longer than a few days. You know, I mean, usually if we penetrate one of the boxes, we're straight up to the next one within a matter of like three, four days. And, and I can even calculate this to prove it to you. And this is very, very important, right? On this occasion, we're up in two days. On this occasion, we're up uh, and down and up in one day. Uh, on this occasion, we pump up and we're already at the top of the range within two days it's very, very clear. Bitcoin just doesn't hang around inside of this empty range and, and inside of this empty range. So that's the point I wanted to make right here. This support level that I'm seeing stretches between 34,000 and 36,000. And I think that if Bitcoin loses this area of support, it's going to be in for another one of these empty ranges where you can see pretty clearly, historically, <laughs> There hasn't actually been much trading for Bitcoin between these two price levels, right? Historically, Bitcoin would just zip all the way up and zip all the way down and all the way down again and all the way up and so on. We just don't, we don't consolidate here. We don't spend time trending, doing random shit. We just move all the way up or all the way down. And so I would expect the same thing to happen here. This is the same analysis I gave you guys for this gap. And it's the same analysis I gave you guys for the whole gap, actually, because that's how this whole range functions. I'm just diving even deeper into the intricacies right now by outlining this box. But this box in itself isn't even super relevant because usually Bitcoin zips all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. You know, it's only around over here that we really started to interact with the mid 30 range. Uh, previously, we didn't do that at all. We were just moving throughout the entire 30 to 40, $10,000 area. So I still think that that's what Bitcoin can do, but there is phenomenal support over here. Again, the problem is that if we fail that support, then we really are in for a ride because <laughs> then there is no support between 30 and 20, as you can see on this chart, because we managed to rise up so quickly. This is one of the more important things that hopefully you guys can understand and appreciate now. I tell you guys about this when the market is higher, but I don't think people like to listen to me. Uh, and the key thing here is that, you know, the, the, the price we have to pay for having such euphoric rallies is that if we come back down, there is nowhere that we can technically find support on the chart. By extension, there's no way nowhere that from a psychological perspective, people are going to want to buy Bitcoin at anywhere between 30 to 20, because there's no key levels here. So naturally, we fall really, really quickly. It's the same thing that happened between 40 and 35. It's the same thing that I expect to happen between 34 and 30. And it's the same thing that I expect to happen between 30 and 20. Should we trade in this range? I don't think we will. It would be Christmas if we did again, about 12 months early, uh, if we did manage to drop down into this range, I honestly don't think we're going to get that lucky. But if we did, I'm just putting it on your radar there. Uh, because that would obviously be very, very nice. Uh, bottom line, though, I think that this is going to function as good support. I think that this should function as support as well. And again, I just got to draw you back to the facts here, which is that Bitcoin generally, it doesn't dump by this much without having some form of a reaction rally. Let's even, you know, measure these dumps right here, you know, just so that we have a whole perspective. Bitcoin here drops down by about, yeah, 18% in one day. This one candle is one day of trading. Over here in about three days, Bitcoin drops down by how much? 18%. Again, how much uh, have we dropped now? We've dropped by about 18% inside of three days. Uh, you know, two, one day and a half, you know, depending on how you look at it. It's similar numbers. It, I mean, I'm not saying that we can't drop lower. I mean, the market's very, very weak, but realistically, guys, come on. You know, I mean, I was the one warning you guys that on this little move up here, you know, don't get excited. I don't, it wasn't right there. It was this the final stretch up that we had right here, everyone was so excited over it. I was warning you guys not to get excited over it, telling you guys when it makes sense to be bearish and when it makes sense to be bullish in my own opinions. And I'm doing that again right now. I'm just doing it again right now. Uh, I know that this is going to anger a lot of people. I know a lot of people are frustrated. That's what we need. 
that is what we need right uh we've seen a lot of stupid shit we've seen the nft crazes blowing up and people making ridiculous amounts of money you know with with completely stupid things because you know i mean you make a lot of money in crypto and you haven't seen money before of course you're going to be acting like an idiot that stuff needs to be cleansed out that's what bitcoin does really well so fundamentally nothing has changed with bitcoin we're seeing all these news headlines of you know god knows whoever being investigated by the sec and all that it's the same shit that we've seen rehashed all the time this is one of the most um you know manipulated markets when it comes to the media that i have ever seen and it makes total sense but at the end of the day if you block yourself out from this total bullshit and you only pay attention to the facts you only pay attention to the numbers because the numbers ain't lying bottom line is that we are very much due for some sort of relief rally whether that means we just trend up to resistance or we break resistance and we reverse up to the all-time high i'm keeping it all open right now we're due for something like that we're at a support zone everyone's extremely bearish people are loading up their short positions people are exiting their long positions let's just take a quick peek at the funding rate as well look at that we're still fairly low we're not even low enough people are not bearish enough yet where people are putting their money not in the bearish direction yet so these are the things that i want you guys to just be paying attention to in this state in the market uh as we go along i'm going to keep on updating you guys with what i'm seeing on this channel i'm going to give you some more altcoin analysis later today and another bitcoin video maybe even a live stream so make sure you're subscribed to catch that stuff hit up the likes if you haven't done so already if you want some free cash in this market obviously it would be really nice to get a bunch of free cash right now you can get four thousand one hundred dollars by signing up to bybit using my link in the description down below and making your first deposit so definitely check that out another free four thousand dollars right now would be absolutely spectacular uh you know just to have it in your account to buy on these dips of course any profits you get you get to keep so please do check that out if you want that free money and if you want to join four flies vip these are the steps on screen first link in the description down below at four flies button at the bottom of any post instead of four flies gold this first link will take you here and then send message to ask me how to join vip you can message me directly and ask me questions about it and so on all right guys hope you have enjoyed this video you know what to do if you have hit up the likes subscribe tick the bell and i'm out Bye bye